Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Bricks Are Your Home for Vintage Lego. In this video, I'm going to talk about Brickmaster, which was one of the many failed Lego things that Lego did, but I don't fault them too too bad. I'll talk about why it failed. Uh, but this is the Indiana Jones Jeep from Brickmaster, which you can piece together, <laughs> as I did. So I, uh, this was uh, one of the Brickmaster sets, but it also got put into the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive set, which I have also pieced together. I haven't put the stickers on yet, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem. I got the stickers. <laughs> I just don't have the box and the instructions. So uh, this came out, I think, in 2008. If you want to see a video of from someone who actually owns it, uh, I would check out Jason's Bricks and Five. Uh, he got it, and uh, I, I, have, I haven't applied my stickers yet. I may do it at another time. I just want I had these these parts were in a tray, and they were tying up the tray. I needed the tray for sorting things, so I just decided to go make sure I had all the, the things to build it. The instructions aren't too hard to find online. There's people that have put them in video form. I couldn't find a PDF of it, but these stickers were in the uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, the big set. <laughs> Now these would be these are the the hard part to get. I got them before they got very scarce on Bricklink. Uh, but yeah, the uh, San Diego Comic Con there was limited only five hundred, and it was from a time when people that went to San Diego Comic Con were going there because it was a Comic Con, <laughs> and not uh, it wasn't influencers or YouTubers or just I don't even. I don't even know there were Lego people going. Uh, I didn't know about it. I, did, I mean, I knew about San Diego Comic-Con, but I didn't know about uh, the Lego promotions that they did. And, and so one of, the reason that they were at San Diego Comic-Con and promoting this Jeep set in, a, in the box with the uh, extra exclusive set uh, was to promote Brickmaster. So this uh, this came in a poly bag that said Brickmaster. Brickmaster was a subscription service that you could get, uh, much like the uh, uh, well, this is a Lego um, catalog, but there was also the Lego Club magazine, which has changed names over the years. It was Brick Kicks. It was Lego Mania. I, I like. <laughs> In the last seven years or so, I, I've kind of lost track of because they keep changing the name. <laughs> I like it when it's just Lego Club Magazine, and you got four a year, and or six a year. I think it was six, you got six of them a year, uh, every two months you got one, and it's like then they they kept changing it. Well, Brick Master, which is in this catalog, we're going to look at it. So this is a two thousand and eight catalog, January two thousand and eight. Oh, and it just so happens to have Indiana Jones on the front. Uh, 2008 is also the year my favorite book came out, <laughs> the Lego uh, Collector's Guide. But, yeah, we're going to look at, because they have a, pr a page in here that is the promotion for Brickmaster. And I'll give you some of my thoughts, because I did get the subscription to Brickmaster, and we'll talk more about that. But uh, I'm wearing my... Oh look! Uh, it's another day, and I'm wearing a They Might Be Giants shirt. This is uh, the this is this is a rare one. <laughs> it's a new one. It's new, but it's rare because it is the Executive Super Boss Edition. So there's not a ton of people out there. There's probably less people have this shirt than have the official version of the Indiana Jones set. See, I can tie any shirt into anything I talk about. So I got this uh, magazine out of my binder. This is the Shop at Home Catalogs 2008 to 2009. So it was in the front page of this. I was actually looking for the, uh, the promotion of the Brickmaster. <laughs> and since I knew that San Diego Comic-Con thing came out in 2008, I said, I'm going to start looking at 2008. And I said, like, oh, this has Indiana Jones on it. <laughs> yeah, so literally the first one I looked at was the one that I was looking for. So uh, yeah, that worked out. But I used to get these shop at home catalogs all the time. You can still get them, uh, but this uh, this is the way. You know, this is and back in the day before everybody was on the internet. This is what you did. You, and so a lot of mine, like this one, is worn out. This is one that was actually sent to me. Uh, so I, I did look at it a lot, and I did really like the Indiana Jones sets. <laughs> 
So I still have the, the temple run set here, whatever they call it. Um, let's see, a lot of information. The biggest selection of Lego products, exclusive sets, Temple Escape, that's what it's called, Temple Escape. All right, and then um, this kind of preview section that shows you what's in the catalog. Try, trying to fix that glare there. All right, so more Indiana Jones sets. I used to own all of them, and I sold all, almost all of them. I did keep the Temple Escape. That's one of the ones I kept. I've repurchased some of them. I'm not going to be a completionist uh, with it like Jason from Jason's Bricks and Five. But I kind of do wish I held on to more of them. Because <laughs> it, it's one of those themes they didn't make a ton of sets. Oh, look, you could have got the K7623 value pack. Say $5 and... No, four dollars and ninety-seven cents. Wow, not not the best deal. And here's some of our city sets. Uh, this is pretty much yeah. I was uninterested in city here. These city sets. It's police station. I like some of the old police stations, but this stuff no. I think that's one of the little tiny box sets right there. That police officer. Again, they have the. So sometimes in Bricklink you'll see these. Like, let me see if I can zoom in. K seventy-seven forty-four. Like, that's different than the 66,000 series where it's a three-in-one because if you order K7744, you didn't get a giant box with all of these. They came in a shipping box with all of these. So it's not a, it's, it's not really a set. K7744, not, not a set. It's just there, so you only had to fill in one thing to order all those sets. All right, so here is the Cargo Deluxe Train. This is the crappy one. As far as, I mean, it's a cool looking train, but it, it had the bad, it's the worst uh, motor system they came up with, and it only lasted for two trains. <laughs> uh, I do like these, I, I think I got most of these sets. I think I got the cargo truck, I think I got the airplane, I may be wrong on the airplane. <laughs> I like the mail, the, the mail plane there, and the mail car there, so... I say I don't like City, and then the next page I like everything on it. Um, oh, I, I think this is, is this the, is this the fireboat? Is this the one with the motor? Yes. Uh, so this, I do have this set. I don't think I've done a video on it, but it has the motor. It says it with its working motor and solid hull. I need to build that. I was actually collecting the motors from that set to try to motorize the Titanic, but I'm probably never going to do it. And I used to collect Fire Chief cars, but... It's gotten, out of, gotten a little out of hand. That fire station's not too bad. I may have actually done a video on that one. I think I have. I could be wrong. <laughs> There's a hovercraft. Here's some more city sets. Uh, that gas station, service station. When I'm looking at it now, like 40 bucks, you're like, oh, that's not bad, 40 bucks. <laughs> but in 2008, that was bad. Then that's a big set right there. I had an opportunity to get this, and I didn't. I think I got the boat hole, though. I think my son wanted the boat hole, and I got it in some kind of lot or at Goodwill or something. So here is the other train, uh, the 7897 passenger train. This is the one I added on. I made a whole bunch of extra cars for it. I need to do a proper video for that. In fact, I need to do a proper video for all my expanded passenger trains. I am working on expanding every passenger train <laughs> that LEGO has made. Uh, you know, have additional cars. So, uh, but this one, I made a ton of cars for it. So it's relatively inexpensive even today. Uh, you can still get, it was $90 then, which, dang, that sounds like a good deal now. <laughs> for a train set. Uh it has the bad motor <laughs> so now when i see this for like 150 i'm like it feels like it's a good price but then when you see the original retail price of 90 dollars came with a track came with a motor a controller uh boy times were different uh and then there's this this yellow train station that's not the best yellow train station but it is a yellow train station it's got a little hand car there another man they were really going going at it with the the airplanes in this year don't know if I care for this airport. And then there's the airplane mechanic right there. All right, here's some of the Knights sets. Yeah, I didn't care for this series of Knights. It, it, 
it's why I mean I used to collect all of the castle sets back in the day, but I had pretty much lost interest. But I don't know, just like all the skeleton stuff there. Knights versus skeletons. I mean, ugh. oh, and then um, skeleton tower. Oh, look, all of the dragons. Then we got this giant king castle siege. More skeletons fighting. Hmm. I can see where people would like this, though. Oh, I used to collect uh, buildings with skulls on them, or sets with, with built, brick built skulls. I just said that after I don't like all the skeleton sets. I'm such a hypocrite. All right, here's the Mars sets, Mars missions, not to be confused with Mission to Mars. All right, uh, this is the one where you, ooh, you hit that, you shoot the little thing through the, the there. You got the little green aliens, the Martians. Oh, man, are we battling them or are we working in peace and harmony with them? So it looks like we're fighting them. Uh, I didn't care for these, but it's one of those in retrospect. You kind of want this set now. I did own it. I think I even played with it. I don't know if we still have it. I may have sold it. Don't know if I did a video on it, but I know we owned it at one time. <laughs> but, uh, this Mars mission just was not something that really uh, appealed to me. So it's one of those space themes, I guess you could call it, but i just not not really into it. Then there's the um, Aqua Raiders, because there's Aqua Zone, and then there's Aqua Raiders. I guess, are the Aqua Raiders the good guys, the bad guys, or the bad guys? I got that because it has a shark. It has a brick-built shark. I do like brick-built sharks and when they're actually sharks. Oh, now this was a theme that I was a completionist as far as the sets. Not so much all the keychains and magnet sets. I do have the magnets, and I might have a couple of the keychains, but I wanted all the, the sets. So I got all the SpongeBob sets, just not all the gear and accessories. Um, yeah, short-lived. Now here we, we finally got to the page. <laughs> wow, that, that was a failed theme. Mr. McGorium's Wonder, Wonder Emporium. $20. Doesn't sound bad, but for a book... This is 6177. That's the one that the Lego Master Other Tim <laughs> is on. I actually have that. Um, I got that book. I got that green brick separator. Never got the table. How much was the table? $250 in 2008. That's crazy. All right, but here is the Lego Brick Master. So this is one I had to really think about. So the Lego Club Magazine, as long as you renewed it, you got it for free. It was weird. I mean, it was really, it was, you could get it for like eight bucks, something like that. Or if you kept renewing it, do something, you get it for free. So I always got it for free. I got the Lego Club magazine for free for many, many years. Probably, I don't know. <laughs> I, I started collecting it was Brick Kicks, and that was in the early 90s. I missed it. I didn't get the early issues from like 1987 or 88 when it started. But, um, yeah, from the 90s, and this is 2008, and then I got more issues after that, and it kind of died. They kind of did away with magazines, and then they came back with Lego Life. And so this is why I don't know what, I don't know if I'm complete on my magazines, because they changed the name so many times. I don't know if I want to collect every type of magazine, you know, Lego Junior, Lego Life. It's just like, I, was, I liked it when it was just one thing. But, so they came out with this, and it was going to cost you money. So you would get six, let's see, let's read, I'll just go ahead and read this. This is what I really wanted to focus on. Uh, you get exclusively available through the Lego catalog and legoshop.com. A Lego Brickmaster subscription is the gift that keeps on giving. So this was the, um, it really was the first Lego blind box, <laughs> blind bag, I guess more appropriately. But they wanted you to get the subscription and you get these, um, poly bags, and they were oversized poly bags. Um, I think I've done videos on these. Uh, I, I know I have them, and I, I may have sold some of the other Brickmasters. Well, I sold my Indiana Jones one back in the day, so. But anyway, it's six, uh, let's see, let me finish reading it. 
This is Ma LEGO Magazine's packed with exclusive content to the special LEGO sets only available to Brickmasters. The subscription is the ultimate LEGO fan experience. And with one year subscription, it includes six surprise new LEGO sets. See, surprise made exclusively for LEGO Brickmasters. You get six LEGO Brickmasters ma magazines with exclusive content. A new one arrives every two months. And they're just a little bigger than the free ones. Um, you get two legoshop.com coupons. Ooh, two co coupons for $5 off. It's kind of like uh, Lego VIP, right? Uh, you, you have to spend money to save money. Uh, Legoland California admission ticket. That did me no good. <laughs> yeah, plus more free bonus awards. There wasn't really anything substantial. So you get it for $40. This is a $70 value. You get it for $40. But... It's basically $40 for six magazines that you would have got for free and six poly bags. So you're paying like, what, seven, six, six, almost $7 a poly bag? <laughs> uh, and I was just like, you know, when I, for me, from my perspective with this, I'm going, I'm coming from it like I was getting this for free. <laughs> Yes, I am going to get the set, so I, I, I understand paying something for it. And did I also have to pay shipping? I can't, you know, they went through this weird phase where uh, the, the price in the catalog was higher than in the store because they included the shipping cost in the price. Then they got away from that, and they do like they do now where it was tiered based on how much you bought. You could get to a level where it was free. Uh, but if you bought less, they had different levels uh, for the shipping. Or there may have been a time when you, you just got, had to pay shipping no matter what. So the, there's all these different eras. I can't remember if I still had the um, the mail order coupon on, in here, which I probably don't because I probably ordered something. I mean, back in the day, I literally mailed in. Even, even in the era of the Internet, I was still, like, mailing in stuff. <laughs> Uh, so I may have, I may have, seen, I don't know, may, or maybe I went to the legoshot.com. Maybe they didn't have the, the things in here by 2008. But yeah, that's a little history of it. Oh, it says 36 pages. And I, I don't, I, I was looking for my, I found two of my Brickmaster catalogs. I should have all of them. <laughs> I just, I don't know where, I, I, th I think I stored them separately from the other magazines and I couldn't find them at the time of the filming of this video. Or I may, I may, who knows, I may have sold some. I just was underwhelmed with this. And so they tried to promote it at San Diego Comic-Con. It basically was dead. <laughs> I think it lasted till 2010. Uh, but just to give you an idea of how failed a theme it is, the Slave One Brickmaster kit, um, tons of them available for free just in the last couple of years at Brick Convention. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it fell. You get you get a theme that ended 14 years ago and you can still get the sets for free sometimes. It's crazy. Oh my. So this is uh this set actually started the year before. So 2007, 2008, pretty good years for Lego sets. You got the Cafe Corner there. I don't know what the deal is with people that hate Market Street. I do not Okay. You're entitled to your opinion and you like stuff or don't like stuff. It's not wrong for you to not like stuff. I just don't understand it because it's a good set, <laughs> in my opinion. It, it, it did get away, for, since it was fan designed, it got away from the uh, standard minifigure grant. And it's actually one thing I kind of wish that they kept. I wish they kept their trademarks with the um, this this theme, the modular theme. Keep your white lamppost, standard minifigure standard minifigure grin and your Technic pin connections. Just, you know, you have your trademarks always on a base plate. Uh, I think it's about four or five things that you have to have for it to be a modular. So, yeah, I like I like Market Street. Um, Belleville, this was when Belleville, I, I mean, I like some Belleville, but this is from my daughter's era, so she would have been about eight years old when this stuff was out. She had some of these sets. I think I have all of these sets. <laughs> I mean, I don't have that. I even had that. Had the bucket. I know I had that. I know I had that. 
Might not have had that one. Definitely had Sunshine. I had, Sunshine Home was one that was on deep clearance. Oh, I miss this. I kind of miss this era of creator. Uh, the, 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 this right here, this page, there are five, at least five good creator sets. This is all, I don't care about all that stuff, but that house, that house, that house, definitely. That truck, that car, those are pretty cool. I don't care so much about the fierce creatures, but, man, these are, these are pretty good sets. Oh, look at that. The big chess set. Lego chess. Actually, is that the big one? It just says Lego chess. It's on sale for $40. Oh my God. $40 for like 30 minifigures. How many minifigures? 20, it says 24. You get 24 minifigures. Oh my goodness. But look, look, it's the skeletons. I bet you I didn't buy this because it has the skeletons. I just didn't like that. Look, it's got the skeleton pawns versus the, the skeleton knights. Oh, I hated the skeletons. Oh, that carry case, man, they knocked it down to 10 bucks. That's when I got it, probably, because we got two of them. My son used one, and then I had another one, but 10 bucks. <laughs> Never got that. I probably should have got that for $20. Probably should have got about 10 of those for $20. Um, oh, look at the... Oh, my goodness, this hurts. Oh, this hurts. $50. Oh, that's crazy. $50 for the hobby train. Oh, why didn't I buy like 20 of these then? I had my one and I was happy. I probably bought the magnets. <laughs> oh, man. So so I, I, I didn't fill in the order form, apparently. Oh, here's your uh, your bricks and pieces of the day. <laughs> wow. The Lego Factory. So this is uh, the people that when you went on Lego Factory, that's what you use to the, the people design their own set. And they would send it to you. I mean, you paid a premium for it. And I've seen a few of these for sale on BrickLink. Not BrickLink, on eBay. And it's just like these custom sets that are one-of-one -one. <laughs> that somebody designed. Pretty crappy stuff out there. Or you could buy just individual parts. Uh... Didn't care about any... Oh, this is Exo Force. I didn't care about any of this, but uh, this stuff goes for a pretty penny. This is one of those themes where the box is way cooler than anything that's inside the box. Uh, racers. I like the Hot Wheels kind of cars. I didn't care for that stuff so much. Um, Bionicle. Enough said. Bionicle. Oh, I, the original Eiffel Tower set. Had it. Sold it, pieced it together. So the one I have, I got one that's built back there in the other room. I pieced it together. Because <laughs> I regretted. It's one of those, you sell it, you regret it. I sold that, regret it. Um, of course, now maybe I don't regret it. This is 2008. It does have brittle blues, from what I understand. Uh, those blues do break. Um, but I do kind of wish I had it, man. Only 80 bucks. I think I sold mine for over 300 back in the day. Probably go for even more. That's a pretty cool truck. I'm just not into the race theme. I think I had that truck or I may have sold it. I may still have it. I don't know. I, collect, I like the trucks more than I did the race cars in, in this. Um, hmm. Don't think I have those. Oh, the Ferris wheel. <laughs> the micro scale Ferris wheel. Have that. Love that set. I should get that out for Milo. Oh my goodness. I have to rebuild it though. I got to figure out where that is. I got an old video that uh, my son and I playing with this. It was... <laughs> um, he may have trampled Jang. <laughs> Please don't take it too seriously, people. There's a, I think there's a video somewhere where that thing runs over Jang bricks. So um, it's all in jest. Um, that, that for many years was one of my all-time favorite Technic sets. The Bulldozer is literally right behind me. Well, to my right and behind me. Still in the box. Haven't ran it in 12 years, probably. <laughs> I probably haven't run it since I did that, one of my early videos in like December of 2012, January 2013. I did a video with that and I don't think it's run since. 
uh, Mindstorms. Oh, look, the dongle. Did anybody get the Bluetooth dongle? Star Wars. Oh, I forgot Star Wars existed. Um, 270. Wow. Should have bought that. I did not buy that. Never, never owned this set. Should have bought it. Should have bought it. I have that one. Haven't built it yet. Um, that's UCS set. That's all about the only things I care about. UCS. Um, hmm, probably some good stuff here. I don't know. That's, I think that's a, a classic right there. I got that. Got that. I think we got that. Is that the... Uh, yeah, Repub I think we got that one. I haven't built this one yet. I need to build it. And then, uh, oh, the maquette. I don't, I never understood that. I remember seeing that at, at Toys R Us, but I, I was still like 50 bucks. The arms and the legs don't do like real minifigures. Uh, magnetic, you can decapitate Luke pretty easily. Probably should have got it. <laughs> Even on sale, I didn't want it, though, at the time. And here's all the stupid magnets and watches. Ah, the UCS. Uh, here's my, I've said it many times, this set, uh, the first run of it was um, numbered, and they had it for $350 on sale at the Lego store, and I didn't buy it. Should have bought it, but I didn't. Because uh, this was back in the day when I just, I'd never paid that much, $500 or $350 for a set uh, back in this day, uh, ever. Uh, AT, AT I like that set. And, oh, look, you never know what kind of weird, oh, my goodness. Adult Extra Large. Beware of the Dark Side Yoda shirt. I'm going to go look and see if I can find that. It's got Yoda on it. Oh, man, I got to get, I, I forgot all about that. I didn't remember it. Beware of the Dark Side. I, and then a, a classic, um, I tried to recreate the image on the box when I did this. <laughs> when I started YouTube, you know, 2008 wasn't that far back. It was still kind of recent. And so now just thinking that it's so long ago, it's like 16 years ago. Um, it's just, uh, it's just weird um, how time, time flies by. Um, but I enjoyed I I personally enjoyed that more than I expected. And again, I just did this because of the Brickmaster thing, and I just pieced together the San Diego Comic Con Brickmaster set with Indiana Jones. Uh, and I, I'm glad I did it now because I, I I needed this break. It's been kind of a crazy week. Um, I've got a lot of family things going on. I haven't talked about it to you guys personally, but it's it's. Some, this is one of the things with Lego that is, is good. It's a good stress reliever. And I've been working so hard at putting things on eBay, putting things in my BrickLink store. I had a moment today to build something. So I built this. And so it's two days in a row I've built something. <laughs> and then it got me thinking about Brickmaster. Because I kept seeing the Brickmaster thing when I was building this. I've seen it on the, the instructions and the bag for this. And I, I said, oh, yeah, I remember Brickmaster. I remember not wanting to spend 40 bucks for it. And I remember being disappointed. I did get a garbage truck. I think I did a video on the garbage truck. There was a garbage truck. There was an at, -AT I think. Um, and then some of the other ones, I'm like, when they started sending me, like, Bionicle or Atlant I think there was an Atlant Was there an Atlantis one? I was just like, <laughs> You're it's stuff that I wouldn't have bought. And so it was disappointing. And it's why it only lasted like two two years. I think it's technically three, but it's really only probably like two years. It, did it even go two years? Yeah, it, it, it didn't last long. <laughs> but anyway, Brickmaster lasted less time than this video, I think. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you've been here this long, you're awesome. And you get the reward of the videos ending now.